Great, thank you. Uh, okay, so this will be a quick overview of the software. Um, it's it's impossible to encapsulate it all in a 20-minute presentation, but what I want to do is give you a bit of context and um, a sense of what it can do. So, so I'll talk about the company to start with. Um, yes, GeoVariances is a recent um, acquisition by Vela Software. We are new to the data mine group. GeoVariances has been around since 1986, and it um, formed in an interesting way. So the field of geostatistics was developed uh, in the early 1950s by um, an academic named George, George Matron, who formalized and studied some theory that was put together in a master's thesis by a mining engineer in South Africa. And George Matron, this French um, academic with the Paris School of Mines, formalized, generalized the theory, um, developed this estimation technique, called it Krigging after the South African guy. And George Matron went and founded uh, a new school for geostatistics just south of Paris in this town called Fontainebleau. Now, this school became famous for um, breakthroughs and for producing students who went on to become famous in their own right. Fast forward to 1986 and a group of enterprising academics from the Center for Geostatistics decided to try to commercialize some of the concepts that were coming out of this Center for Geostats. And they set up an office down the road in Fontainebleau and created GeoVariances. So um, as of the early 90s, we released our first software product onto the market. And it has been an industry standard software product ever since called iStatus. And in the past few years, we've introduced a new version of it. So what I want to do today is take you through that new version. Uh, we have over 500 customers uh, that we deal with, over 1,500 software licenses around the world. We employ um, 30 technical experts, I suspect quite a few more now, across four offices. And we maintain that technical partnership with the, with the Center for Geostats at the Paris School of Mines at Paris and Science Letters University. So the point is, we've always had an academic um, focus. And we're, we, we try to be like cutting edge in that way. Uh, our key markets are fairly diverse. Geostatistics is a tool that can be applied to many different um, domains. So we do a lot of business in mining. And geostatistics was originally developed to assist in mining. But we also work in oil and gas, nuclear, de decommissioning contaminated sites, and a range of other applications, too. So the, the cornerstone of our company is our software. Um, I saw this in gray there at the top, has been around for a long time, released to the market in 1993. Um, I saw this Neo, it's newer incarnation, and we also have a product called CardaTrack, which is specifically for um, contamination studies. So we provide customer service, of course, um, maintenance of the software, upgrades, training in geostatistics and consulting as well. So our status new, um, it's an all-in-one tool designed to glean the maximum amount of information from your data using the magic of geostatistics. So I thought it's released in 1993, industry, industry standard for a long time. Um, I thought it's new, was a, was a complete rewrite incorporating the original alg algorithm. Um, I said it's Neo is Windows native, so you don't need any kind of an emulator. Has an improved interface, which is good, easier to learn, um, more intuitive to get around. And the old iStatus looked like something out of the mid 90s because it was. Um, we also have uh, enhanced user flexibility and the ability to script um, uh, routines into what you're doing. So I'll take you through a, a quick like, layout of the software, um, talk about the tools, uh, EDA, estimation simulations, batch processing, and list a number of applications as well. Um, and there will, there's so much more that I could talk about. So when you open this software, you get a project manager. 
And this shows you all the projects that you have saved, and it allows you to access tutorials as well. So the software comes prepackaged with data that you can work through and, um, and play around with and be guided with. You can store your backups in the project manager. If you're an old status user, you can access them here. You can access those projects here. You get a preview of the pro projects. You have um, system information on this page. So it's just a intro, um, intro, uh, it's like intro page to the software. It's got all your basics. And then when you open the software itself, you see the interface, and this is what it's like. So I don't know how many of you might have used the old iSatis, but this is significantly different. <laughs> then we have uh, an intuitive ribbon um, at the top, and we have a quick launch toolbar. So if you're looking to do anything, type the name, and it'll pop up. Um, there's a, a data tree on the left and our um, 2D, 3D scenes on the right. Click and drag from the data tree to the scenes to visualize anything. And we have batch processing up on this on this window as well. So um, recording batches, manipulating batches, playing batches. Um, all the task windows that pop up have a little question mark on the lower left corner. And that Oops. That takes you immediately to um, the help page for that particular task. So this software is sprawling and kind of vast, but we try to, um, to describe everything both in the theory and the practice in the, the help menu that comes with the software. Um, you can also press F1 at any point to be instantly taken to the help for whatever you're looking at. Some um, general tools, so we, we can import and export a range of data types, um, drill holes, grids, point rasters, etc. cetera. Um, and of course, you can export them as well. Uh, there's a, a data management tab where you can um, create data elements and manipulate them in a variety of ways. So, uh, for example, um, creating selections, you can um, choose to act on parts of your data. You can create selections based on geographical or data-driven rules. Um, you can create macro selections where you are able to uh, select, view, um, operate on data according to indices that also exist within the data set itself. Um, Here's an example of using um, a macro selection to view a histogram of iron based on uh, its particular domain code or, say, lithological code. Um, compositing, common operation, uh, we have a, a range of options for compositing and um, a range of ways to deal with the residuals of your composited lengths. You have, uh, generally speaking, um, previews of your operations in the task windows before you commit to them. So you can observe the statistics and the impacts of what you're doing um, as, you, as you change your parameters. Uh, you may want to decluster your data. So we have uh, a declustering tool that allows you to intelligently see the impact of the different sizes and orientations of windows that you have. Um, so that you can be informed as to what your declustering results will do. Uh, we have in this software, and this is very different from the old software, a Python-based calculator. So um, anyone with basic Python skills can, can manipulate data, and we also provide some built-in code examples as well, um, a powerful way to perform um, transformations on variables. Uh, our batch processing system is improved, so it's um, completely different from the old software. The old software had its own um, like esoteric text format that you could manipulate in order to edit your batch processes, but this software, it's written in XML, so that means it's much more flexible, and it means that you can insert your own um, Python code into the XML files. Uh, this is the batch processing window here on the left, um, takes you through a list of tasks. 
But if you're not comfortable edit, editing XML, I suspect most of us would probably rather not do that. Then we have um, a batch editor, which allows you to perform operations, insert um, Python code uh, in, a, in a more convenient window. So the idea of the, the batch process is um, we wanted to make something that was as flexible and powerful as possible. The software comes with a built-in reporting tab and any graphic that you have, any statistics, any, anything, you can, you can usually uh, click a button and it will send it to this reporting, um, reporting screen. So what this is, is a built-in word processor and it allows you to collect your outputs as you work along, annotate them. Um, you can export the report as a standalone document or you can copy paste from it into whatever you happen to be working on. Um, our, our exploratory data analysis EDA window. Um, so this is the place where one performs variography and Gaussian transforms and um, uh, views their data in a variety of different ways. So the idea is you can drag and drop from the data tree into um, any one of these options, your uh, results immediately pop up um, and you have like detailed manipulation on the right. Uh, yeah, um, basically once, once you've um, established your variography, you save it all as a geostatistical set and this, this geoset gets um, referenced in other operations of the software. Um, in the EDA window, the graphics are linked. So if you want to um, uh, highlight a number of samples, you can see them highlighted in other visualizations as well at the same time. Uh, and of course, you can create masks based on this, inverse masks, um, other, um, other rules you can mask by, of course. So with the variography, um, you will be presented when you first um, want to perform variography on a variable, you will be presented with default modeled curves in a default experimental variogram. Um, you can um, use the interactive variogram map to try to, um, to modify your experimental variogram parameters, or you can edit them with text, of course. Um, and and when, you, when you want to fit your um, model to the experimental variogram, you can do it manually or click drag to get uh, the fit exactly how you want it to be. Um, and oh, yeah, and of course, we don't just work in variograms. We have a, a variety of representations of variability across states that we use. So when you've done your estimation, you will then move on. Sorry, when you've done your variography, you will move on to estimation. Uh, Trigging methods, pointer block, raw Gaussian or residual variables can be crigged. Um, you have a number of parameters that you can specify as you work through the window. We try to make this um, as comprehensive as possible. And uh, when you, when you um, create your outputs, you also have many options to, um, to choose from. Uh, we have an estimation validation tool that offers a comparison between true and interpolated values um, and also can give you comparisons with other um, interpolation methods as well that are non non geostatistical non non yeah not really nonlinear and so we have um, a sample clustering tool with domain modeling uh, sample clustering hierarchical clustering allows you to intelligently categorize data and then you can observe those categories according to a variety of parameters. Um, we have um, our simulations tool. Uh, the range of available simulations in this software is um, visible on the screen. We have uh, what we've got. Uh, we have um, training band simulations, SPDE simulations, uh, sequential Gaussian simulations, PGS, MPS, SIS. Um, these, these techniques have been developed and refined along with the Center for Geostats at the School of Mines. Occasionally, we have um, re research consortia where um, we, we, um, we actually use industry partners to, to help us invest in developing these tools. Uh, we have 
um, a simulation setup um, system that al allows you to use uh, advanced conditioning parameters and, of course, um, have a wide range of outputs. Uh, the, our simulations really are um, one of our strengths. And of course, uh, the software is set up so that you can easily visualize a large number of realizations. Asadis Neo was constructed for this purpose. Um, you, can, you can scroll through them, um, observe them in um, 3D. Uh, you can validate them according to the original input data. You can observe your realizations and see how they match. And um, I guess what I might say too is that we have a simulation reduction tool. So if you um, have a large number of realizations and you want to best capture um, their, their representation in a smaller number of realizations, then the software allows you to do that. Um, and, and then iStatus Neo can be applied to many different things. So uh, a quick list here of um, some of the reasons people might want to use the software. It's highly repeatable, of course. Uh, we have um, our high quality imagery. We do um, uh, you know, work and risk analysis of all types of da data QC, domain validation, DHSA, using conditional simulations. Uh, mineral resource estimation applications, recoverable resource, ap uh, uh, recoverable resource applications, classification, sampling optimization, scenario reduction, model validation, and reconciliation. So, so this software um, is not meant to be a black box. This software is created for people who want to understand what they're doing and, uh, and, and be able to manipulate those processes to the highest degree. We, we cater to um, people who are um, advanced in geostatistics. But having said that, the software is designed to be um, uh, easy to learn and accessible by people and clearly explained. So we also offer training in geostatistics and it's quite common for people to come to us and ask to be um, trained up in these methods. We also offer some longer term training in, associate, in association with this Paris School of Mines. And um, uh, there's so much more to the software that I haven't even spoken about. So um, MIK pre and post processing, UC, LUC, um, unfolding and unfaulting, um, a range of other um, techniques. But this is, this is just to give you a, a sense of what this, um, what this software is as an overview. And if you have any questions or want to know more, please come talk to me after. Um, my colleague, David Berry, is there. He'll just put up his hand. Um, <laughs> David's, um, David's been working with the company and, and also involved in the development of the software as well. So uh, we're, we're both here all day. We're happy to take any of your questions. Um, and, uh, and I think that everything I have to say, uh, geovariances and I status new in a nutshell. Questions. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. What a, what a question. Uh, oh well, I mean that's you know that that's a, a strategic decision that I, I I couldn't comment on, but um, but I thought is is separate from supervisor in that uh, it it caters to a more uh, more expert level and more advanced processes than supervisor does. So um, we, we focus on our strength, which which is the, at that higher level. And, and supervisor has you know, its own functions as well. Yeah. OK, thank you very much.